Hi guys, Adam here, and welcome back to another video on M's Toyland. Today, I'm going to be showing you this Wild Republic Gala. Okay, so, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> this Gala's <laughs> size is, like, uh, accurate on camera, but <laughs> this bird is actually pretty small. <laughs> like, the size of my palm or something. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This Gala is exactly the size of my thumb at not my thumb, but my palm. <laughs> or almost as tall as my entire hand. The color scheme of this Wild Republic Gala is <laughs> red, gray, pink, and light pink. Galas live all over Australia, and they mostly spend their days sheltering in trees or shrubs before congregating <laughs> later in the day in huge noisy flocks. All right, galas eat seeds from the ground as well as nuts, berries, fruit, roots, and grubs. And they also eat seed crops, especially wheat, oats, and barley. Galas, when you see them in the wild, <laughs> are very pretty. <laughs> they are actually <laughs> one of the few birds that are pink. Yeah, not many birds are pink. <laughs> yeah. Another bird that <laughs> has been on this channel that's also pink is the flamingo. <laughs> and you can find my Wild Republic flamingo video on this channel. One of the Gala's natural predators is the peregrine falcon. Mm, makes sense. <laughs> peregrine falcons live almost all over the world and <laughs> they mainly go after medium-sized birds. Most Gala's have a lifespan around 25 years in the wild, but when they are when they are in captivity, they can live up to 80 years. Wow. The official term of a group of galahs is called a giggle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Or also a mob. Hey, kind of like kangaroos. A group of kangaroos is called a mob as well. Hmm, this is a cool fact. <laughs> Galahs have been recorded breeding with <laughs> other members of the cockatoo family, including the sulfur-crested cockatoo. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty unique about the gala. <laughs> there are three subspecies of gala on the planet, and <laughs> just like all parrots, <laughs> the way to tell the difference between a male and a female gala is that... Female galahs actually have a reddish iris, while males have a brown iris. <laughs> but you can only see those colors when you're looking close up at the gala. <laughs> From far away, the gala's eyes look black. Galahs are very fast flyers. <laughs> they are known to fly at speeds of 70 kilometers per hour. Wow, that's fast. Like other cockatoos, the gala is a, an excellent mimic of voices and sounds. Their vocal, <laughs> their vocal talents, their color, and <laughs> their hilarious personalities, <laughs> yeah, have made them a very popular pet choice. But they can be very destructive. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> A gala may be a good pet for some people, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> and I wonder if Clint from Clint's Reptiles would <laughs> rate the gala of the best, like, pet <laughs> dinosaur. Basically, birds are descendants from dinosaurs. Anyway, <laughs> I wonder if Clint will make a video on him Rating the Gala as a good pet based on his five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. Alright, before I close out the video, <laughs> this Wild Ruler Gala is part of the Ecokins, like, line. <laughs> so, <laughs> this Gala is made entirely out of <laughs> recycled materials, like the Ecognations. 
Okay, time for the rating. I rate this Wild Republic Goliath 10 out of 10. I recommend a big game this animal if they like Wild Republic, Goliaths, Parrots, Cockatoos, Popular Pet Birds, <laughs> Australian Animals, and Glint Reptiles. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below and to subscribe. Click on the picture of Venom Fling the Dilophosaurus to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving Galahs and Australian birds. See you later. Bye.